Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. When are you serving that flop, Pearson? Believe me, you'll be the first to know. Come on, it's this way. On me. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah, and Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed them. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look 
at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Yeah. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me! Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Do you see anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. So, what are we doing? You gonna make a call? We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? Hey! You all be in right! Hit him head on. 
You said you play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? This is just trash. You got anything? Not yet. I think the water's got to this stuff. This ain't worth taking. This one looks good. Search it. Search him. I think we should search the crates, Arthur. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep.
Coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons! We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! Anyone chasing us? I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But enough, but enough. I mean Dutch. And everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Thanks again for that watch, Arthur. I left something for you by your bed. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Karen so likes a man in uniform yeah, way I hear it. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Evening, Always. Arthur. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. We're Fed up a move and all the time. What? Yep, just the way it is. Well, I should get back to it. Sorry. Ain't much company right now. We've been in bad situations before, but... How are you? Like, my whole life's been one long, bad situation. I'm a mother. I know you do. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Uh, whose dog is this? Whose dog? Well, well. <laughs> Where did he come from? I don't know. 
He just wandered in. Hi, my friend. Hi. Well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Aww. That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Uh-huh. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> Whoa. What did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. So, you gonna let him keep it? The boy needs something, after all he's been through. Sure. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. My poor knob, sir. Ah, watch you was picked from my pop, sir. But you look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Good morning, Arthur. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! <laughs> huh? That hay goes in one end and comes out the other. Oh, hey, Arthur. Uh, things all right? Okay, Reverend. I hear you've been Good day, getting into Morgan. trouble again. I never liked Catholics, Mr. Matthews, but uh, maybe they're right.
You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Work, Miss you Morgan. busy, Arthur? Girls has betrayed us and done it happily. Is raiding betrayal in your world, Miss Simpson? Not sweet. I don't know. I don't know is betrayal because it means I work for you. That's not right, is it? I guess I'm not. You're right. Not me. Hi there. Thank you, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, uh, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Mary anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this. From one of those awful men. You should have it. Well, thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. And how are you? Very well. Mr. Pierce. Hi there. You seem in a good mood. I do? Okay, maybe not then. Okay. I'm doing. It looks like you're reading. And I am, so why do you ask? Just making conversation. I'm sorry. I was being catty. I 
I don't know why. You're very pretty. I'm sorry, I'm not being forward or, or nothing, but you are. That's what I like to see, Mr. Very Morgan. Sweet. Strange and horrible and an O'Driscoll, but sweet. I'm not an O'Driscoll, miss. Okay, whatever you say. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yep, should buy us a bit of time, I hope. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good. more food soon, Mr. Morgan. I hear you, Mr. Pearson. Feel free to go and catch it yourself. I have bad luck with deer, sir. But if you set me out to sea, I'll catch you a feast. <laughs> I need a word with you, Morgan. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look, at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Okay, let's move out. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, 
We'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the Volt Man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that, once things get going. So, thinking this through, we rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course. In and out. Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Keep it down now. We're here. Easy.
Good afternoon. Hello. Passing you. They stop watering the drink. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. Don't act like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Show her! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Oh, oh, you think oh, we're here for fun? Come on. Open the goddamn vault! Oh, Open oh. it! Oh, oh. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but uh, you better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still! as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Please, let me go. I will always say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Go check the front. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. 
few more minutes. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Over there! Oh. 
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. Yep. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
say, y'all. All this adventuring and wandering over mountain paths. Arthur. Evening, Arthur. Someone showed up. What you were looking at? Ah! Hey. Easy, boy. Easy. Boys, okay. 
Hello, mister. This is turning into one of them days. Anyway, all the best to you. So long. Sure, I can help. How about we skip the small talk, eh? Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me do robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? 
After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. Every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. The bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. This ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. There they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What in the hell? Guns up! We gotta go!
No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. Are you getting on? How long does it take? Next time, I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Hey, Luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, but done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailed. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this all back in shit. Now we're being robbed. Get across the river. What the hell? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. 
Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun! At least you ain't dead yet. All right, damn it. Ain't the first secret I've been asked to keep. God damn! You should be more careful. Never should have let my guard down. Okay. 